Returning to our story, your insurance company is supposed to be there when you need it. But Dateline has learned some State Farm employees secretly tried to cut back the medical expenses of accident victims. And remember Lucretia Duffy, who had most of her medical claims denied after a paper review? State Farm tried to keep what happened in her case a secret, and now Dateline may have uncovered why. Here, with a conclusion to our story, John Larson. When State Farm refused to pay Lucretia Duffy's medical bills, her life quickly unraveled. Hospital bill, final notice. Her debt grew to $30,000. She was fighting with State Farm, fighting with bill collectors, fighting with her own medical clinic, which demanded to be paid. The headaches get excruciating. There's times that it just, I just want to bang my head against the wall. They hurt so bad. She lost most of her home daycare business. She ran up credit card debt just to buy groceries. Remember, Lucretia's financial troubles began when State Farm refused to pay her medical bills, based on a paper review of her records by CMR, a company whose processes at the time are now suspect. But is State Farm to blame for any of this? After all, CMR was supposedly an independent company. How independent was it? Dateline has uncovered evidence that indicates State Farm did more than just passively benefit from the negative reviews. Evidence that some State Farm employees played an active role, shaping the supposedly independent reviews. This is a CMR memo about a meeting with two State Farm employees. One is quoted as advising CMR to change its medical opinions, approve more emergency room visits, more x-rays for children. While that may sound good, the memo goes on to reveal what appears to be State Farm's motive to give the insurance company more room for negotiation, room to get an accident victim to settle for less money. It looks like these two State Farm employees are telling CMR what to say, what to put in their medical reports. That's a document I'd not seen before. It's, it's North says if anything like that was going on, it was not widespread. But Dateline found out more about the two State Farm employees quoted. They weren't just any employees, they were in fact trainers, responsible for teaching hundreds of State Farm claim representatives in the Northwest how to use paper reviews. One of the trainers is quoted as saying, if you don't want to pay a claim, send it to CMR. They'll reduce the amount and provide a strong foundation for doing so. That's going too far. I can't support or approve that. And if that was going on, to my knowledge, I'd deal with it very decisively. And there was something else about that memo that indicated CMR was willing to change its reports the way State Farm wanted. Next to each statement, someone had written, concur. We recognize the handwriting as that of CMR President Bill Marvin. You said concur. In other words, you agreed with this. I, I agreed that we should be... Uh, we should be honest and objective and not so hard-nosed like some of the doctors wanted us to be. Excuse me, Bill. Case. It appears as though you and State Farm are working together to come up with medical opinions that will help them negotiate settlements. If, if that's the way it appears, then I'm glad that we've evolved away from this type of uh, scenario. The concept of what we were doing was evolving over time and and you go through it's almost like going through a, a rite of passage. At any point in this journey that you describe would it be proper for State Farm to tell you to start approving or disapproving more medical tests? No. No. But according to this CMR source with some State Farm adjusters it happened repeatedly. The claim adjuster would call us and say, you know, I do not approve of this. We need to adjust it, change the dollar amount. If they want some of it, some money taken away from these reports, we would take away from the reports. So they were helping author the reports? That's exactly what they were doing, yes. State Farm says that behavior would have been unacceptable, and it doesn't believe it ever happened. It insists these accusations grossly distort its overall record. Remember, for State Farm... Go with the good neighbor service you get with us. A company whose very business is built on trust. Such a charge is devastating. It appears as though employees 
for the biggest insurance company in the United States are secretly conspiring to cheat the very people who are trusting them. Well, your, your word is appears, and, and I can't argue with what your perspective is. That just isn't the way we do business. I'm even bothered with the notion that, that you may be thinking or suggesting that it is. State Farm insists paper reviews do not ultimately cut that many claims. It cites its own internal study of 65,000 accident claims in Arizona, which showed only one of every five claims sent out for review resulted in a final reduction or denial of payment. And remember the 79 MCRS cases in which all the paper reviews were negative? State Farm says it eventually paid most of those claims in full. If indeed we're paying less, it's because we owed less, not because we intentionally tried to, to shortcut any of our customers. But take a look at this. Dateline obtained documents showing that while on one hand State Farm was telling employees to pay every dollar we owe, it was also, until the mid-1990s, giving employees goals like this, trying to lower, on average, how much it paid its own policyholders clearly stating paper reviews were a way to reach those goals. State Farm says it was only trying to find a way to review its employees objectively. Getting to the bottom of how State Farm uses its paper reviews to influence settlements isn't easy. Because private insurance files are just that, private. And while you can understand insurance companies needing to protect the privacy of people involved, there's more to it than that. State Farm has aggressively blocked efforts to learn more about its paper review process. In more than two dozen cases, State Farm convinced courts to seal thousands of documents, making it impossible for the public to get an independent look. Impossible until now. Dateline searched computer court files in more than 100 courthouses in a dozen states. And we found some of those sealed documents accidentally left open for public view. Documents including this one. An economist hired by someone suing State Farm analyzed nearly 100 claims State Farm sent to CMR. This is the first public look at how paper reviews profit State Farm. He found the accident victims, on average, had about $7,400 in medical bills. CMR's paper review recommended slashing those claims. In the end, State Farm paid on average only $4,400, saving State Farm about $3,000 in medical bills every time it used a paper review. State Farm argues the sample is not statistically valid. If State Farm were my neighbor, I'd sell my house and move. As for Cindy Robinson, she filed suit against State Farm for bad faith. And after six years of battling with State Farm's lawyers, Cindy had her day in court. The jury awarded Cindy nearly $10 million in damages. State Farm asked for a new trial, but the judge said no and issued this scathing opinion. He called the paper review company, MCRS, a completely bogus operation, which prepared cookie-cutter reports. And he said, State Farm knew the paper reviews were not objective, but slanted to favor the denial or reduction of claims. State Farm is appealing. MCRS went out of business in 1995, one year after Cindy filed her lawsuit. But Dr. Gotts insists MCRS was unfairly portrayed at the trial and that its medical reports were good. And in fact, we were above standards in the in industry by far. So you're saying other medical review companies probably looked at even less? Oh, they don't even have doctors. Many of them have either all nurses or, or clerical people who do reviews. Is that possible? We contacted insurance officials in every state and learned something astounding. Only four states have either banned or specifically regulate these kinds of paper reviews to ensure doctors are really writing them. In fact, 13 states told us that until Dateline called, they had no idea insurance companies were even using paper reviews in medical accident claims. In Alaska, a year and a half after Lucretia's accident, State Farm had her examined by two doctors and offered to pay more of her medical bills. But Lucretia filed suit against State Farm and the paper review company, CMR. And when her lawyer tried to interview the doctor who supposedly wrote Lucretia's paper review, 
State Farm went to court and blocked all efforts to question him. So we went looking for the doctor ourselves. And guess what? It was Dr. Viglotti, the same doctor whose reports had apparently been altered at CMR. He was surprised when we told him about Lucretia's case. State Farm essentially went to court to keep you from being interviewed on this. They actually filed a protective motion. I didn't know that. So we showed him a copy of Lucretia's report. Right away, he noticed something odd about the signature. Well, you know, it, it looks like just there's something about the way that the upstroke of, of after the J comes that doesn't look right. And then there's a little kind of a circle underneath it that just doesn't look right to me. I mean, is there any way that, that could be your signature? Highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. And after reading it, Dr. Viglotti felt that sure he yeah, had neither like written like nor approved it. I don't think I've seen this report. This so-called independent medical review, which devastated Lucretia, which State Farm not only used to deny her claim, but also blocked all questions about, apparently was forged. This is, is the only incidence, to my, un, to my knowledge, uh, where, where something like this has happened. And as, as captain of the ship... As so we just, out of the 27,000 cases, we just happened to be holding the one. I think that that is probably, that is probably right on the mark. Last year, Lucretia settled her lawsuit with State Farm for an undisclosed amount of money, never learning what we had about her report. Have you gone back to any of your policyholders and said, hey, there was a company involved in this process that we think may not have gone right? You should be warned. We are in the process of looking at those files and trying to identify them, but it's we been have two, not... It's been two and a half years. I understand, and, and we've been in the process, but, but we have not gone back to policyholders to suggest something that may not be the case. State Farm insists it can find no evidence that anyone was definitely harmed by a paper review, and because it's owned by its policyholders, it's in their best interest to keep insurance costs down. I regret being involved in a situation where we affected people's lives like that, that negatively. Uh, it bothers me to, to this day. We didn't know the person, so by not knowing the person, I guess we really didn't care. State Farm suggests instead that what happened at CMR and MCRS is not the rule, but an exception, an unfair, ugly snapshot. But if what happened here is just that, a snapshot, remember, this picture includes thousands of people who trusted State Farm. They turned my life into a shambles. I thought I had peace of mind with coverage. It wasn't there. They don't have the right to do this to people. It destroys their lives, and they have no right to do that. They are not gods. State Farm and two other major insurance companies are facing lawsuits over the way they use paper reviews. And Dateline has learned that Florida's Attorney General is also investigating the use of paper reviews. State Farm tells us it has reviewed the credentials of all the paper review companies it uses. Since our interview, State Farm says it has now gone back and examined almost 4,900 claims that had been reviewed by CMR and decided to pay about 500 of them in full. That's Dateline for this Friday. A reminder, we're off on Sunday, so we'll see you again for Dateline Monday at 8, 7 central. I'm Tom Brokaw. For all of us at NBC News, good night. For a transcript of tonight's broadcast or to purchase a video segment, call 1-800-420-2626. Very nice work, everybody. See you back here Monday night. Dateline is a presentation of NBC News. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world.